Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rich Millard and this is my second book on KDP called Surfer Sam and the Party Wave. Uh, you're here because you're also creative and you want to create a book. I want to take all the stuff I learned along the way, the stuff that took me a lot of time and help you save that so you can spend more time being creative and more time finishing your book. So hope this helps and uh, thanks for visiting. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to Safari. We're going to type in KDP print options. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at basically um, the different options you have as far as how you format your book. So first you've got ink and paper type. Uh, you've got three different options here. You've got the black ink and the cream paper. You've got black ink and white paper. And then you've got color ink and white paper. In case of what I'm doing, I'm doing a children's book, so I want color ink. And the only option you have is the color ink with the white paper. So that'll be the type that I'll choose. Um, now you get down to trim sizes. Now you will see the three types of print that we just looked at are all listed here. Now you've got the different trim sizes. Now the trim size is the size of the book. The first number is the width of the book, and then the second number is the height of the book. Uh, I've done two books. One I did at eight, eight and a half by eight and a half, so a perfect square. I love that size. And my newest book, Surfer Sam and the Party Wave, I actually did eight and a half by 11. Now you get into something called bleed. Bleed is basically, if you're doing a, a book that has words that don't go all the way to the edge or pictures that don't go all the way to the edge, you don't need the bleed. But if you do have bleed, then basically what you're doing is you're printing the image all the way beyond the edge of where your book is going to be cut to the bleed margin. So basically when they cut it, you don't have like a little white line right there. That's essentially what bleed is. And when you do bleed, basically what you want to do is you find your trim size and then you add 0.125 inches to anywhere where there's going to be a cut. So let's go ahead and scroll down here just to look at that a little bit better. Uh, in this case, it looks like they're doing a six inch by nine inch uh, trim size. So six inch by nine inch. And then they're adding 0.125, so here to here, here to here, and here to here for the bleed. So your image goes all the way past your trim to the edge of the bleed. That way when they trim it along this little dotted line, you don't have a little white line or a box around your book. It's just the, the image just runs right to the edge of the page. So let's go ahead and jump into that now. Let's say that we are going to do a six by nine uh, book. Let's go ahead and open an Illustrator. And let's show you how to set up a file in Illustrator to those dimensions. These are some of my old projects for Surfer Sam. Let's do File New. And we're going to do Print. And you're going to go ahead and switch this from points to inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do six inches by nine inches. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to actually set your bleed right here. So there's, there's two ways you can do this. One way would be to um, just go ahead and do the bleed right here. So you could do 6.125 and 9.25 and be done with it. Like you could just create that and work from that. That's fine. But what I like to do is you do six inches by nine inches. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the bleed to the top and the bottom. So 0.125 on the top. And see what it's doing is this is this this button is locked right here. So it's adding a bleed to everywhere. But according to KDP, we do not want bleed on all sides of the page. You only want it on the top, you want it on the bottom. And then it let's say that this first page is to the right, you only want the bleed on the right, you don't want it on the left where the gutter is. So let's go ahead and unlock this. We're going to put zero for there. And now we are set up for a, a, a bleed for that first page. Now what I like to do for my naming is I like to use the title of the book. So for this one, you know, I'm let's call it Surfer Sam Party Wave. And then I like to do page one, you can put like an R for um, that it's on the right side, the page is on the right side, because you're gonna have the bleed be different for a left page. So let's go ahead and create that. And now you have your book set up. So there's your bleed. So this is the 0 0.125, 0 0.125, 0 0.125. So let's go ahead and just, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, my first page. So you open up the book and you have, let's go ahead and align this to the center. Blah. 
Okay, so there's your first page, right? So you open the, the cover and this is the first page waiting for you. Here's your gutter right here. Now when you turn the page, now the gutter's on the other side. So what I have to do is we have to now create your second page, which is gonna be the left. So let's go ahead and do that. I know this might be a little confusing, but this is just kind of stuff that I've learned over time. So now you're gonna do the same thing, six by nine. Let's name it Surfer Sam Party Wave, page two, left. So now, again, we want the top to have 0.125. It's gonna give it to the bottom, that's good. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Now we want the bleed off to the left side. So now, instead of having the bleed on the right side, we're gonna have it on the left. Let's go ahead and create that. So now you see that the bleed is now on this side. So this is your gutter over here. And then we're gonna have our trim size on the top, the left, and the bottom. So now you've got your next page. So now you're gonna go ahead and just do that back and forth, back and forth. So let's say that now you wanna create your third page. What I like to do is I take this. So you don't have to reformat it every time. What you can do is you can go File, Save a Copy, and now what you're going to do is you're going to rename it Surfer Sam Party Wave 3R and go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and file, open, Surfer Sam Party Wave 3R. You're going to go ahead and open that. And hey, great, now you've got your third page. So you've got your first page, my first page, second page. Let's do my second page. And now you've got your third page, whoops. My third page. Cool, so now you have uh, formatted three pages in a row and you're gonna keep doing that back and forth, back and forth for all of your pages for the book. And then once you're done with that, we'll show you how to export it to a PDF to get it ready for print. Great job. All right, guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. Uh, be sure to check my other videos for other tutorials that might also help you, and also subscribe to my channel just so you can see if there's any new content that might be helpful to you. And also, if you're interested in buying Surfer Sam and the Party Wave, you can find it on Amazon, or you also can buy it at the link below. Um, I hope to see your guys' uh, projects on Amazon real soon. Be sure to list them down in the comments below. I would love to keep up with you guys and find out how your projects are going. All right, thanks, guys.